Hello guys, good morning, God bless you, good evening, good afternoon, depending on the location on for the connect with me. We thank Baba God for the wonderful things when they do for our life. Because not only when they put road for where or not they, not only when they talk word when they reach. Tell friend truth in all this boy friend. Community where good people for keep quiet and Baba go become general overseer. What is not good is bad. Operation bring back history. Now. Operation Break Back History Now. I discovered, see, we never know anything about our foundation anymore. Our history, nobody will get information about where we from come. Today, you see parents now, schools, they're not teaching about uh, German, British, European, and our own history. The history of Georgia for Popo, the slave trade, what happened to our traditional nothing. We they lose our culture every day, even our schools. No more history. They never they teach history for our school again. Even no language. We never they teach language again, especially for South South. But if you still go north, they still they talk about history. They still they teach outside for school. But how come for South South, we know they teach Igbo? We know they teach Bini for our schools. We know they teach uh, Esan. We know they teach uh, what is going on. And I see so many of our big men, when they open school, they go begin to teach about the history of the uh, Queen of England, the history of uh, whatever, whatever. But the history of Nigeria, we are not even aware of it. If I say we just lost, you will go meet Binima for office, you will greet her like you say, go Baba, he will use English to reply you. Why would they shame to speak our language? I have so several experience. You go meet Binima for office, you go greet her with your language, you go reply you with English. You say, I'm not hearing what you are saying. I'm a Bini person. Bini person. You will go in Shaman house, uh, uh, in Shaman office. As you just greet an Arab one, he will reply you back with the same dialect. But for Bini, no, my English will reply you. Go most of our offices. My English will reply you. So then go Lagos. An average Yoruba man, Yoruba, he must reply you with Yoruba. Talosoro, Kimi, Kilode. You see, you still see them speak their dialect fluently. Then you can see most of our BB school today. What they teach is British, but nobody teach about our foundation. No history. We are gradually becoming a forgotten nation. Gradually, gradually, we don't forget where we from come. We never will know where from come anymore. Because of English. But if you go German, they speak German. If you go China, they still speak Chinese. If you go India, they still speak their language. They teach their history. They know where they're from come. But for us in Nigeria, we carry our history. Put up for trash can. Flush and throw away. Put up for toilet. Flush and throw away. It is time to bring back our history. Every child in Nigeria deserves to know where he or she came from. Every child in Nigeria deserves to know where he or she came from. Most of us never know where we from come. Go our school right now. What they teach is a uh, British American Standard University. American Standard School. You go see the uh, primary school, the primary one picking. They're going to teach us how to solve equation from Dubai. They're going to teach them how to solve equation from UK. But the equation of our environment, the, the child does not know. The teaching should be based on your environment. But we are losing sight of our environment and we study on other people's environment. That will not be shame. Today now we never ashamed to speak our own dialect. We forget where from come completely. Remember Abraham Kelly Peking. Uh, he said, "Go back. 
your kindred, your family, go back. But we don't forget where we from come. Why they don't they teach history again for our schools? Why? Why they don't they teach history again for our school? Why? Why? You go meet Bini man for office or Bini woman for office. You go greet her with your Bini. He go reply you with English. Ah, I would like you some Baba. He go say hey, good morning. <laughs> But if you go Lagos, they still speak a car or a car or tomorrow. An average Yoruba woman for street prefer to reply you with Yoruba than to, to speak English because English not be our mother tongue. Because English is not our mother tongue. English is not our mother tongue. So please. History should be restored back to our school. History should be brought back to our school. It then very painful and decided to say, we never know where we will come again. We don't even know where we came from anymore. Why don't they teach Edo again for school? Why? Why don't they teach Edo again for our schools? Why? Before they only call Edo language, they go teach up for school. One, oh, oh, two, eh, five, three, eh, ah, four, eh, nine, five, eh, seven, six, eh, ah, seven, eh, eight, eh, nine, eh, ten, eh, eleven, oh, oh. Then we do, we see they teach this team for school again. We see they teach this team for school again. We see they teach this school again. Amen. Amen and water. We know they teach them again for our school. What is going on? No more history. Our mother language has been murdered. We murder our language. We bury them. Now with a copy from the Western world. Now you don't see we are not teaching French. If they teach French from school, what stop them from teaching our history in school? Which it stop them? What did really stop them? What stop our government from implementing teaching of our uh, mother tongue in our schools? But they will teach us French. But they will teach us British. They will teach us German. But your own language, nobody teach again for school. Our schools, our, our society, they lose value every day because we no longer have no culture. Our value they go down every day. Why? Because nobody pay attention to DT anymore. Most children never know where they from come again. They never know road to their village. They never know how they take from their village. What if we stop our people from even teaching Jaja for Popo? Jaja for Popo. What did happen in 25 slave trade? What did happen? The invasion of the Benin Empire by the British government, uh, Portuguese. All those things should be brought back. Should be brought back. The matter of the we, if they way with the tribe of that country to go and learn their language, now, so we they learn our language, we they do the right thing. I believe that things for not really change the ways of a change. But funny enough, we don't miss, we don't lose. So I want to, yeah, I want to really appeal to the Ministry of Education. Say time don't reach for them to bring back history. May they bring back a dual language. Make our children no get the from come. No be also so Ibo, 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 Ibo. You go see one place, you go say Dominion College. Everything I'm going to teach on Dominion College, now abroad. What about our immediate environment? What is going to happen with our immediate environment? What is going to happen about our own immediate environment? We just could be like children when he, when he lost. We never know where from come again. Our children does not even know their village. They never know where their mama from come. 
Almighty man, I we come and say we lost. So the Ministry of Education, you have to bring back history, especially a dual language. Bring back a dual language. Bring back all the language. But you go not. They still talk about how certain tomorrow they teach them. How come they know they teach us? How come? How come? How come? We for South South know they teach about our dialect again. How come? Ujedoma, Ujedoma, but the big, the big, the money man, the money man, he be na, he am marry na, he chie do, he am marry kene ya kere, he am marry na, he chie lamogo, labose, lagesa, labo, am I ukuna tuena, if he am marry ya ke, he am marry ke na kere, he am marry ukuna he tuwe, lamogo, what is the history of lamogo? Lagesan, what is the history of Lagesan? How come it by Lagesan? Labo, how come it by Labo? What is, what is the rationale behind it? Nobody will teach her again for our school. And then some now will be say, well, you be beneath Gongo Mare Ibo. Wahala. You see me, uh, Ibo, Mago Mare Yoruba. Wahala. No, that dialect. Pim or we. Con loss. Ah, it is time we bring back history. History should be brought back. If we go actually get the things right, we need to bring back history. May they begin to teach history for our school now, especially a dual language. Especially a dual language. We need to bring them back. Okay, you don't know. May they begin to talk about the history of Jaja of Opopo, the slave trade, the Portuguese invasion to the to the Great Bini Empire. These stories, they need to begin to refresh our memory with this story. Why? Because all the British people, though they cover their cover our head with their fake, with their fake history. They don't they cover our head with their fake history. So we're not going to know more about our history again. So, history should be brought back now. Our children should know where they came from. I, know, I never know why they removed a door from a, from a curriculum. Don't they teach a door again? Why would they go when would they grow up? They teach us a do. One or two, they will teach you Upu, Ame, Aga, Ekmechota, Ekmechota, Ekmechuge, Ekmechuge na television, Ekmechota na radio. How many of the children still know all these things? Okoto, Okoto, which is very cool. Okeo, Okeo simply means aeroplane. How many of our children truly know all this now? How many of our children truly know this? And we need to bring it back. History needs to be brought back. Now. Make we know where we're from come. The mind of your we. Uday money magi biene na iya ma keni akere iya ma ekben akere. You are greeting Lamogu. What is the history behind Lamogu? How come about Lamogu? Lagesa. Who, who originate Lagesa? La La Yehu. Who originate La Yehu? Now if you not go to Esa, eh, Aranwa, Obu, let's bring it back. Make we bring back our history. All this permission that they teach us is shared by Queen Elizabeth, Queen La La La. Eh, nah, nah, nah. No, it's not helping us. We could not allow this uh, British and Portuguese to continue to enslave us. If you go to China today, they still speak Chinese. If you go to India, they still teach India until tomorrow. You must learn it. You must learn it. 
There are some countries you go today, if you don't learn their language, you go nowhere. If you go to Dubai, you must learn Dubai. You must learn now how to speak Hausa. Or else, Hunger will finish you. You know if you communicate well. If you go to uh, fr fr uh, uh, France, you must learn how to speak French. For you to blend. Come on, ça va, ça va bien, merci. You must learn now. You must learn French. You must learn French. Or else, you go so far. But how come we in Africa, we easily forget where we from come? No history. In fact, history should be mandatory in our schools right now. It should be mandatory. It should be, history should be mandatory right now. Why our leaders actually remove history from our school uh, curriculum? Why? Why the government remove history from our curriculum, school calendar? Why? Oh, they know I mean they know where from come, Abi. Yeah, man, yeah, man, only my kid, my kid. No, no. I said I'll go be in my office. I will book greet that with Benigo. They answer me with English. <laughs> if you answer me with English, I don't give okay, me. I don't give okay, me. What did it happen? Go to some of our government offices for Benin now. Where be said Benin they occupy? You will able to speak Benin for that. Go they answer you with English. You know who answer you. As if say the, the English they speak in our mother tongue is a borrowed language. That's why still they uh, respect the Asian people. Any office you see an Asian man and you speak Arab one, they will attend to you. Any office where Aousa man they occupy, for as long as you speak Aousa, I need to in the front, you go get them. But for all the Benin, mm -mm, once you just speak Benin, you just finish. Oh well for now. Now that time you go even touch in the bed. You go lock the you go lock the door carry key to away for River Ninja. Is it supposed to be like that? Is it supposed to be like that? A dog and so go ma a do or dion or my so get do a do or dion. But I may get my game my game my even my when I ask Zedo or Wav is cool or be a or we wear me. It wear me simply means cool. Or we will it wear me. My game my even my when I when I when when I ask Zedo. If you mama gave when I had to eat to know a no one, if you mama gave when I had to get to a no one. And we they lose our culture every day. Every day. Every day. We they lose our identity every day. But it's not too late to bring it back. It's not too late to bring it back. It's not late to bring it back. We need to bring back history now. History should be brought back now. And I also thank God for some churches when they be say they still get language class. When they still they teach our old women Bible. Yes, so many of our churches are really doing great job on that right now. Most Baptist church right now, the uh, uh, Yoruba churches, they still they, those our old women they the language class. They still they teach them Yoruba, teach them Bini. They interpret the Bible. <sighs> yeah, my brother, Rabbi, God bless you. Good morning from Germany. So, we need to bring back history. We need to actually bring back history. So, the state government, the federal government, she will bring history back to our schools, especially a dual language. Why they actually remove a, a, a dual language? Why? 
Why they remove a dual language? Why they remove a dual language? What did they hide? What did they know and make we really know about our language? What did they know and make we know about where we from come? Why, why, why they even remove history from our school curriculum? Now the question we need to begin to ask. But yet, we must learn French. If they teach people French for university, may they begin to teach Benin for university. May they begin to teach Benin for university. Uh, my, uh, my pastor, Pastor Frank, oh, I may God bless you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. They should bring it back. They should bring back history. They should bring back history. We were losing every day. Now, you will see school today now. They're going to teach you about Portuguese. They're going to teach you about China. They're going to teach you about French. They're going to bring a British standard. They're going to take British standard. Where, where, where are those standard education right now? Nigeria school going to teach people about British. But your own, you not teach your people. Your student does not know where they came from. But they're going to teach them where they know from come. You are going to teach them where they from, from come. You call it British. You are not teaching your students British. But you are not teaching them where they came from. Most of these big schools for Nigeria today, they are teaching them China. They are teaching them India. But where they came from, where they from come, nobody they teach them for school. Waiting. For how long will continue to be slave? <laughs> Wait. Now oh. really do all this thing. For how long? We say we are we, we are free. But yet we are still under slave. We are still under slave in our own nation. The British government will make us to study everything about them, but making us to forget our own. We forget where we from come. Who have actually done this? Of a truth, we are still under slavery. That's the truth. We are not independent at all. We are still depending on the white people to survive. We are still depending on them. For how long? For how long will we continue to be slave in our own land? You then Nigeria, they will force you go learn how to speak uh, German. They will force you to go learn how to speak British. You will still try to go there. They will still force you how to speak their language. Now who do us? Our children, when they grow, not even, when be Igbo children, not even know how to speak Igbo. Yoruba children, not know how to speak Yoruba. Bini, not know how to speak Bini. Aousa, if or not, they, they try. <coughs> Excuse me. For not, they, they try. For not that they try. But we know they try for a year. We know they try. Why BC we know they teach Bini? The question they ask, why we know they teach Bini again for our school? Why they remove Bini speaking from our curriculum? Why? Why? Ha. Osabone Gima we. But we are losing that every day. Because we don't get information about where we from come. No information. The Obavorame no spicy. What happened? What happened to Obavorame? How did the British invade our land? Those stories need to be told. Jaja of Opopo. Those stories need to be told. Oh, Giamme, those stories need to be told. Because once you get the right information about history, nobody will feel deceive you. But the reason why a lot of our persons are being deceived today is because they are not aware of their history. Now, I know some man they come up with different history, Benin they come with different history, but we know that we get one history that govern all of us. It's just for us to have 
get a clear picture of it. Once we get a clear picture, you discover, say, all of us will come from one lineage. From one lineage. But because we don't really know where we are from come, a lot of things could happen. But for how long? Make allow my pastor, Pastor, Pastor Franco Amen. Go ahead and uh, make your contribution because the thing has just invest me where where. The thing has invest me. Thing invest me. Invest me. The question why they ask, why they remove history come up from our school? Why? Now the question me they ask me that why they remove history come up from school? Why, 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 why? Why they remove history from our school? Why? From the school calendar, why they remove history? Why? 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 I don't understand why. They remove history from our school and they are teaching us foreign language. Teaching us French. But the only teacher is Bini. But I think say time during for us to write proposal to state government and federal for them to bring back history to our schools. Then to bring it back. Our children should know where they came from. It could make our children know where they from come. The issue of slave trade, nobody even know how, how slave trade, marketing, how which it really transpired, what really happened, nobody would there will nobody would know again. Nobody know. Primary school children they are forcing them to live a bit a, a British life, fake life. Secondary school children now, they, they force them to live fake life. <sighs> Fake life. The king will not know where my man from come. Now, 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 one begin. Now, one go know where Queen Elizabeth from come. I don't understand. The king will not know where Papa from come. Now you go to teach to. Uh, uh, now you now you go now you say me go learn to know where Queen of England from come. What did it happen, sir? Yes, like Pastor Frank said something. Oh, we are not free. This white had developed a system to keep the black in perpetual slavery. They took away everything that make who we are, our culture, our tradition. Okay. And even our names. Most black now hardly bear their native names. Our names are identity. Yet, they have taken everything away from us. They took everything away. Ibo Bikina, the answer, Jim Brown. George Bush, Joe, Joe Wagon. Ha ha. Where did it happen? Hey. Now, wow. Now, wow. I believe it's not too late. It's not too late at all. It's not late at all. We can no longer remain slave in our own land. Nigeria, here yeah, they enslave us. Abroad, they still enslave us. They enslave us on Nigeria. Abroad, they still enslave us. Why? Why? They know I make we know where we from come. They don't want us to know where we came from. Why? Why? Now the question we may ask be this. Then no one make we know where we from come. Guy, we deserve to know where we came from. We deserve to know where we came from. And I also thank God for some pastors right now. When it be say for, for church now, they also they teach members language, teach them Bible. We have a whole lot to do. A whole lot. A whole lot. 
a whole lot. So, please let us bring back history. History should be brought back. And it takes time to analyze this this morning. I do not take time to analyze. Most children, Benin and even know they call Amen. Amen. What are they never know? Amen. Benin Pekin and even know they call Amen. Okay, Pastor Frank, our mind have been enslaved. The black are enslaving the black. We have become inferior to ourselves. We honor the white man more than the black man. Ah! Another error. Another error. Another error. Another error. You are very correct. Our mind have been enslaved. The black are enslaving themselves. The black are enslaving the black. We become inferior to ourselves. You can imagine in your own land, your own city, you will go greet your, you go meet your fellow uh, tribal man. You go speak your language to Enugu. Go outside with English. And this is commonly uh, among Benin. This thing is very, very common among Benin. A Benin man, whether as a governor, whether as a senator, whether as a president, whether whatever the position they occupy, once you go to the office, they don't go speak Benin. Now English they're going to speak. As if say they born they born English. As if say they born they born English. You go go as a friend member where be Benin your office. In your greeter, it's not fun to answer you with Benin, but they answer you with English. I got so good do a do a do. Man, I'm here. My man, I can't even make it. Oh, who did my two? My man, who did my two? Like me now with a great luggage, son. Now I I go dig out history. We are from Com. We are my papa, grandpa. I discover say my mom is Shakiri, related to the Ogiamel for it right now. She's related. And also discover after a love history, and I discover say my great grandfather, the Oba Adolor, the thirty fifth Oba Benin, is my great grandfather. That alone could give me joy to know where I from come. Baoni, I my hand up. No shake. God bless you. Amen. Mumbo. Amen. Mumbo. All right. Okay. He said, it's a massive war store. We see our tribal man as a fellow enemy. I'm not missing supposed to be. I'm not missing supposed to This one I'm waiting. I want me to really look into this money. Where? Where will for me this thing? You go see a Benin man with be lecturer. You go go greet your greeter with Benin. He will answer you with English. But go Yoruba man office. For as long you don't say a carosa. <laughs> ah! I've been a Usa person. Something happened one day. For, you know, my third day, Koso day, before. That they come, they get this outside guy with the way they sell for back of Uniben gate, school gate. Outside guy. Once I come like this, I go say, Pastor. I said, how are you? I said, fine. Go carry, uh, Kuli Kuli. He go pack, uh, Aosa Granite, call Aosa Granite. He go give me, he go say, Pastor, you don't preach today, take free. They go shop. At times, maybe somebody will say, water near, I go say, ah, I may give Pastor water. One day, one of my members will speak Aosa. We come there for street, one by street for naming gate. Na carrot. Immediately she speak Aosa. <laughs> the carrot where the Aosa man is supposed to sell naturally for five hundred naira. You know, sir, you know, sir, sell and give my church member for two fifty. Just because she speak Aosa. But now, once you speak your language, they will inflate the price. Oh, it's why you want to want to and where now lie or working about to and where. No, say when you want to and where. <laughs> but meanwhile, you don't cut your neck. This is a personal experience. 
I think if I want to buy something now, I don't look for all my outside friends and say, ah, get book we go. By the time you speak outside, things go reduce. Go Lagos now, go uh, say you want to go clear goods for wolf. I was telling my go make sure that you get them well, but your travel person will cut your neck. Your travel person will cut your neck. Why are we like this? I think history should be brought back. The most benign where you go marry non benign now see problem for their home because they don't feel communicate well. You know if you communicate where? Those of you are married in a language, language person, kudos to you. Kudos. But even those of us who are married from our dialect, we never able to teach our children more from come. Those of our children know what they call cap in a, in a do. You are a do person, you are picking what they call cap. A ru, not the cap. I met you again. I met you again on television. How many of our... The new children still know they call it Pedjuri. How many? How many of the children know they call it Pedjuri? How many of the know they call it Pedjuta? Pedjuta na tel a radio. Okeho, okeho na ro aeroplane. Aeroplane. Ha. I think this slavery mentality is enough. We have been slave ourselves enough. So, uh, Pastor Frank, you can come in. Let me invite you so that I uh, make a quick. Uh, oh, okay, you are not online. So, okay, we need to let go of this slavery mentality. Okay, I think it's online now. All right, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. You are welcome. Uh oh, the person was unable to join. Technical issue. All right, let's say get technical issue. Okay, can you send me the the video link again. Then uh, let's see. Let's do justice to this uh, topic this morning. So I beg, may they bring back history. May they bring back history. Because we know if you just lost like this, now we're weak completely. <laughs> no, now. We just can't lost like that. That's how we're here. But meanwhile, if you try to go France, you must learn how to speak French before you feel blind. If you go China, you must learn how to speak Chinese. You must learn how. If you go any Arab country today, you must speak, uh, learn how to speak Arab. Even Niger, you must le learn how to speak that language, or else you know if you blend. Ghana, 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 what they talk to? Ghana, they still teach their language, they know their history. So, a Ghanaian still know where it come from. A Ghanaian still know where it come from. But Nigerian person, you don't know where from come. No, we don't know history again. Go Ghana, they still speak their language. South Africa, Soweto. They should speak that job. They should speak and well. Is it Rwanda? They who to do it? They should speak and well. It has become a, a, a national asset. But for us in Nigeria, we carry our history. We go put them for soccer away. They don't want to make we know where we come. They don't want us to know where we came from. Ha, huh, man. Excuse me, please. Yes, you can make your you can make your contribution directly. Let me put on the let, let, yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much, Apostle, for this. Thank you so much for the opportunity. No problem, sir. I really appreciate you for this opportunity to contribute to this broadcast this morning. Oh, thank God, sir. I I want to first of all tell you that I really love what you are doing. 
and um, you are you are speaking the mind of the people. Thank you are listening to the mind of the people. Thank you, sir. This topic is a very wonderful topic, my apostle. Mm. <laughs> you, you see, uh, right from the time of uh, the slave trade, the, the, the blacks have always been the problem of the blacks. Mm. If you look at the history of slavery, you will discover that it is the black, black men that were selling the blacks. Hmm. They were the ones selling themselves to the white men. So the, the, the white men only took advantage of the foolishness and the ignorance of the black man. Wow. We have always seen ourselves as inferior to the, to the white man. You see, there is this issue that we are we are having among the blacks, and that is the the issue of um, tribalism. Yeah, tribalism among ourselves. You know, when we go to to the abroad, we we fight for for we fight against uh, what we call the um, uh, racism. What we call the racism. Yes, but in in among us here, yeah, we are we are. We have a very terrible issue of tribalism. Now, the, the white man has taken away everything that we have we have ever gotten: our culture, our tradition, our our identity. The identity of a man is what makes a man who he is. Mm. Now, our identity has been taken away from us. What makes an identity? Our identity, our name, our identity. Our language is our identity. The history of a man is what makes a man. If you don't know your history, then you are finished. Hmm. Now, you just said something just now. You see a black man bearing a disbow, your disbow, <laughs> as, as the case may be. I, I know of uh, somebody who bears a complete English name. His name is, uh, 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 you know, somebody very hairy. And the the, the the son name is uh, is uh, his name is Harry. The his son name is Matthew. <laughs> and you know, this is our problem. It's our problem. Our educational system, even as well, we don't have our educational system. Our educational system is a British educational system. <laughs> it's a problem, sir. Hmm. You know, if, if you want to travel to Germany. Before you go to Germany, if I, when you arrive in Germany, the first thing you will learn for the first one year or so in Germany, you will go and learn their language. You must learn German. It is, it is a prerequisite for even arriving in their country. You mm -hmm. must learn their language before you enter their country. Mm -hmm. Because their language is their identity. Now, Nigeria, what, what is our language in Nigeria? You ah. see, if somebody is speaking, uh, 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 for example, or speaking Yoruba, for example, or speaking Aousa, speaking Bibo, you see the person as a really straight person. Yes. So the, the, when you see somebody is speaking English, oh, you are comfortable with the person speaking English. But we, 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 we don't have a common language, and it's a problem for us. It's a problem for us as blacks. Our culture is taken, our traditions are taken, everything is taken away from us. You only see ourselves, you only see a black man dressing in their cultural dress, dresses. Hmm. Our dress, our traditional dresses have been taken away. Everything is taken away. But now, let him go to, let, let him go to the issue of marriage. Our cultural marriage has been taken away. So you see, we do the traditional wedding on a low key. Then we do the white wedding in a very in an elab, in elaborate manner. Wow. The traditional wedding is done on a low key. The white wedding is done in an elaborate manner. Why? Because that is what we have not come to acknowledge and recognize. The church also has no health issue. The church does not acknowledge you that you have done wedding when you do not do white wedding. Most mm. churches see you as 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 an inferior, or I see you as as somebody who is having a problem 
if you have not done a white wedding. But that is not our culture. The white wedding is a white man's culture. So our lives have been taken away, and I don't just pray, I always pray, Apostles, that God should help us to, to understand ourselves and return back to where God has placed us. God is not making his picture by putting us in Africa. Hmm. God did not make mistakes by making us Nigerian. God did not make mistakes by making me an Espanish man. God did not make any mistakes by making you an Ebony man. God, in his own wisdom, put us in our geographical location because there is something that he intends to achieve by that. Hmm. And we can never achieve God's intention for our life as long as our minds are enslaved. So the first freedom a man can ever receive is the freedom of the mind. Freedom so if of our mind. mind can be free, mm. then a man is totally free. The mind of a man is the biggest problem of a man. If a man's mind is set free, then that man is totally free. The flow of the mind is where the real freedom lies. Mm. That's why I would say that be you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be you, trans be you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So when the man's mind is not renewed, that ma the man is still enslaved by the past. Hmm. So that is where the issue is. Now, if a Christian is not renewed, if an African man's mind is not renewed, then the man will remain continuously enslaved with that. Yeah. Uh, so this is my contribution to your to, to the broker this morning. Thank you, sir. Let me let me quickly show you something. I live in an environment. This is practical. I live in an environment made up of Bini, Esa, Ausa, and other tribes. I discover, say, the environment, let me be the John way, okay, okay, for that place. The fellow Bini people that are supposed to join with me, now the Bini people fight me. Then, we not feel organized meeting, but the people from a banker, then they hold a meeting every Saturday, I mean every Sunday. We, the beginning of it, do meeting. We love it, do meeting. Then the Asian people, they hold their meeting. Then how some are when they our meet, Alaji? Because they are all of now, all of now, when they say area. So, when I claim to be Christian, when I not unite, Bini not unite, how some not unite, I mean, you are Asian not unite, back when I not come together. Do you know the Ausama left the area? He returned back to Auchi. House when he built, he lived for a children, come out, he not be stay for the area. This is practical example, not be joke. A fellow believe people that affect me. That affect me, they say, ah, ah, apostle, ah, apostle become our joy. But yet, now me be the first person to enter that area. Now, what am I saying is? For us to get it right, we must let go of this stupidity and madness amongst us. Exactly. If we don't get rid of it, we will go nowhere. I was so surprised when the Osama come on go out in our area again. You know, see? And all of us for that area claim to be Christian. But we were never mm. united. We are not united. I may make a lot you talk, Joe. <laughs> It is a problem, Apostle. Hmm. It's a problem. The, the, the biggest problem, the biggest problem, Apostle, is is uh, the issue of everybody wants to be of that. Hmm. There is no humility above all. Hmm. Humility is our biggest, is the African man's biggest problem. Hmm. Wow. You, you see, when, when you are a leader, everybody is thinking that leadership is easy. Nobody wants to be a follower. Mm -mm. That's the biggest problem. Now, now, the, 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 the average black man is a proud man. Mm. The average black man is a, is a proud man. The average black man wants to rule over his brother. Mm. So that is, that is the, the, the struggle that we are having everywhere. Hmm. It is a struggle we have that we Now, if, if we leave home, if we leave home, if we leave home, we want to be united when we leave home. But when we are within our own home, 
the way forward all the way forward the way forward the way forward to all of these is for all to continue to enlighten ourselves the way forward is what you are doing right now the way forward is what you are doing right now for mm. the way forward is to continue to enlighten ourselves to continue to enlighten our children to continue to enlighten every one of us through the social media platform as many as, as many persons that we can have one-on-one -on -one contact with to continue to enlighten them. It don't take time. It don't take a long time. And all of these things we are saying now start from our home. Mm. It starts from our home. If parents are continue to enlighten their children, and uh, we, teachers are enlightening their students, our government is coming to understand that our culture is important to us. All of these issues that we are having will one day become a, a past issue. That's my contribution, sir. Well, thank you very much. God bless you, my brother, Pastor thank Frank. You so much, thank you God so bless much, you. Sir. Yeah. So, guys, it's a, it's, a, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. And we need to address them. This matter needs to be addressed. For how long we'll continue to be slaves in our own land? For how long? White man will enslave us. We ourselves will also enslave ourselves. White man will enslave us. We ourselves will so also excuse me, please. Where are you, please? All right, all right. I did the I packed for the Philly station after corner your worker confront. Yeah. Yes, yes. You work yes. After corner, you see one Philly station front. Yeah. So sorry. From experience, from experience, a governor who happened to be and a governor who happened to be from Afema, it happened in the Somali regime. Osumani is from Isako. Deputy governor is from Edo, Odubu. Once you go Oshimole area, all the people dominate. Mo mo mo. Now when you can't go beneath my deputy governor office, where be Odubu, my brother reverses the case. We did bite bite ourselves. We did bite bite ourselves. Who have really done this to us? Who have really done this to us? Like what my brother have said, every one of us have a duty to play. It's a big problem. A Bini man go take position. He no go grim his fellow Bini people surrender. Instead of the fair hand or they lie to they bring that person down. But yet would they complain say they that tribe they are more united. Did they stop us from be, from being united? No. We just hate ourselves for no reason. We just hate ourselves for no reason. You know why? Because we lack history of where we are coming from. If we go back to our history, we will know where we from come. Our most beneath they know what they call a rule. They don't know what they call cap. They don't know what they call cop. Cop is who? They don't even know. Shame. But it is not late. History should be brought back. Edo language should be brought back to our schools. And very, very, very important. Let us see how we will take reach the Ministry of Education to ask them why they actually remove Edo language from our school and uh, from the school calendar. I think it should be brought back. It should be brought back. Or else we will still be where we did. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you for joining the broadcast this morning. Managing my post to Alfredo Dion, you know, so I just want to come as it be because 
we need to know where we came from. God bless you.